I used to hate parties. Not anymore. <laughs> it used to be work, 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 and I was absolutely determined to get on, whatever the cost. Mum, <laughs> do you mind if I went back home? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, what about your pudding, Pet? Oh, I'm full, thanks, Dad. Um, I'd really like to get these research notes done on time. A couple more hours and I should be done. And then I can relax. Ah, uh, go on, then. We'll save you a minute. Thanks. But it doesn't seem that important now, somehow. I think things started to change when Anna Sally died. To the grandchildren. That is Duncan, Holly, Melanie and Jamie. The sum of £100,000 each to be held in trust until the date of their 25th birthday. Where did that come from? I think I'm going to be sick. So suddenly I'm an heiress. And then I met David Cash. Is this a proposal? Yes. Could have been married by now. Well, I guess I'll never know whether splitting from him was a lucky escape or one of the worst decisions of my life. You can't just throw me away like an old sock. Look, I want to be on my own. But why's it all got to be so final? Because I don't want there to be a misunderstanding. I'm sorry, David. But I made a mistake. That's not the only decision I had to make. Susie knocked me off my feet. I never thought about myself that way until she turned up. All I know is, I kissed you and it felt wonderful. This looks very cosy. I'm old enough to know what I want and I'm old enough to stand up for myself. I don't need your protection. But what I am has got nothing to do with Susie or anyone else. This is to do with me. All that anguish and all that heartache. I finally plucked up the courage to tell Mum and Dad I'm gay and now, now this thing with Tim has got me thinking again. Listen, Holly, I've got a bit of a soiree on tonight. It's just me work Christmas do, but I'd really like to go and see. I think I want to sleep with him, but I just don't want to rush into anything. And I know, I know I'm 25 and a virgin, but, well, I've waited this long. Ooh, why is life so confusing? Well, at least I don't have any financial pressures. I invested all of Nana Sally's lottery money, so I've got the freedom to do whatever I want. What if Holly and I gave you the money to buy Pete out, and in return, you gave us a share of the lot? You've really got to be a partner in the lock? Well, just a small stake, but yes, I am. I can't wait to tell you, Dad. If you made up, I'm a daughter owning a pub. <laughs> uh, part only. <laughs> and it's a wide bar. I grew up thinking one day I'd be called to the bar, but I never thought I'd end up running one. Now I'm off to party. Do you mind if I get going in a minute? I'm cooking dinner for Tim tonight. You know what I'm like. It takes me about three hours to boil an egg. Yeah, fine. Thanks. Um, before you go, can I have a word? No. Yes, yeah, of course you can. Yeah, well, it's about your granddad, Jack. I was wondering if you could have a quiet word. Yeah, what about? His drinking. Holly, you saw him last night. Yeah, he seemed all right. Well, he was going around the tables trying to borrow money. He even asked Tim when he went to the loo. Well, Tim didn't say anything about it. Yeah, well, he's hardly likely to, is he? And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Look, why are you being so touchy? Because you're bad-mouthing my family. You make it sound like I'm doing this on purpose. Look, your grandfather was drunk last night. He was making a nuisance of himself, and I'd like you to have a word. That is all. Well, I think you're overreacting, OK? Grandpa may have had a bit too much to drink, but I'm sure it wasn't as bad as all that. Holly, he has a problem. He needs help. No, he's just had a rough time recently, that's all. Yeah, I know, yeah, but... so why don't you get on with your life and let my grandpa get on with his life? Far is it, Elsa? Hi, You're late. Am I? Yes. At least three minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to you somehow. <laughs> So what's going on there? Oh, Maria's been summoned to the court of Elsa. I hope they don't make a scene. No, they've been very civilised so far. Uh, but then again, they could just be psyching each other. Ugh. You haven't got the hump because we've got to clean these windows, have you? Of course not. Are you sure? Hardly taxing for that legal mind of yours. No, but it's saving us 30 quid. You seem a bit quiet, that's all. 
I'm concentrating. Oh, come on, Holly. Spill the beans. But I'm just tired, all right? I didn't sleep very well. Why not? Do I have to have a reason? Well, you normally sleep so well. You don't give up, do you? No, I was a rock in a former life. Well, it's a bit embarrassing. Holly, you've shared some dark secrets, you and me. It's about sex, isn't it? <laughs> don't tell me. Tim wants to, uh, you know, when you're panicking. Got it in one. Well, he's only human. <laughs> and he's a seriously nice bloke. Tell me something I don't know. Susie, what am I going to do? Crunch time. I can't string him along anymore. No, you can't. But why does sex have to be such a big deal? It's you that's making it such a big deal. Yeah, but I'm happy with the way things are. Yeah, and he isn't. No, not anymore. And I'm really scared. You've got to learn a little bit of trust, Holly. Otherwise, things are going to get blown even more out of proportion than they already are. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say. But I know you've got some kind of irrational fear over sex. But what do we do with our fears? We face them. Right for time. <laughs> Look, Tim respects you. He's not going to run off when you drop your knickers. Do you think I should go for it then? Yeah. Before the monster gets too big. Tell you what, do it and I'll buy you a bottle of champagne. That's bribery. No, that's what my mum used to do for us to get rid of our dummies. Promise to sweep. It's hardly the same thing. Of course it is. You've got some unnecessary emotional attachment to your virginity. You can live without it. You'll see. The game. Yes. Oh, I wish I had a camera. Oh, I'm glad you think it's funny. Oh, don't you? Well, no, she's obviously got entirely the wrong idea about us. Oh, don't worry, I'll soon put her straight. Yeah, you better had. Why have you suddenly got all defensive? I never used to bother you. Well, it's just, you know, I mean... Well, oh, yeah, of course, that makes everything a lot clearer. I must admit, I, uh, I did wonder when you suggested Othello. Oh, it wasn't like that. Yeah, well, I know that now. You know, I just miss spending time with you like we used to, you know, going out and... Big girly chats. Mm. Well, last night was like that. And I, was like, oh. I mean, I still feel a lot for you, you know. I mean, there's nothing like that between us anymore, I know, but... Well, I just miss us being friends. What are we going to do with you, eh? Oh, I'm hopeless, aren't I? You need taking in hand. Oh, funny. That's what I thought Tim did. But I was wrong again. <laughs> Story of my life. I thought I loved David, you know? Wrong. I know I love you, but... I was wrong again. <laughs> well... Maybe you were just in love with the idea of, well, being in love. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But, um, it was different with Tim, you know. It was the real thing for me. Of course, that was before, you know. He left. And why did he leave? Because I drove him away. It's me. I always screw up. <sighs> 